Caring for Clothes, brought to you by Grand Fork Central's Fashion Class. Keep soiling and damage to minimum. Chances are if your shirt's full of dirt, it's going to be hard to get out. If you're to get a stain, take care of it right away because the longer it sits, the harder it is. Keep a routine care of washing. Don't overwash your clothes. Don't snag or pull loose strings. That could cause you to get a hole in your shirt. Be careful not to be rough with your clothing item while getting dressed and put in a safe place after use. Unloose buttons, hook and eyes and snaps. Replace lost ones. Mend small rips and tears before they get too big. Remove spots and stains. Launder washable clothes, hand wash sweaters and other delicate items. When you go to the dry cleaner, tell what type of stains and where they are and for the right treatments. There's also water repellent spray for outerwear. Brush pilled garments and then press clothes that are wrinkled. Specify dry cleaning launder, dry and ironing, soap use, detergent, and temperature range. You wouldn't want to do all of that wrong and have your shirt shrink or be miscolored. You must give specific warnings on if you can wash or not. Must state normal practice care and so what to dry, what temp and what temp to wash in. White clothes should be in a separate load because dyes and bright or dark colored fabrics can bleed to discolor whites and pastels. Soak in lightly salted cool water just in case you don't want white socks coming out red. Delicate items should always be washed separate. You don't want them to get ruined and snagged on other clothing items. Lint producing fabrics, for example, a towel should always be washed separate. You don't want lint all over your nice shirts. Different textures should be combined so that causes better washing. Sorted groups should contain small and large items to provide good washing action. Extremely dirty items can make lightly soaked garments look dingy, so wash them separately. And don't wash polyester or nylon with oil or greasy items since they pick it up. Zip up zippers all the way. Secure zippers with safety pins. High heat dryers can ruin your zipper, so keep it to a low heat tumble dry if you can't wait for it to line dry. Turn hoodies inside out. When washing anything with zippers or strings, turn the washing machine on delicate cycle so it doesn't ruin your clothing item. Um, the strings on the hoodie should tie into a bow so they don't get all stretched out and even pull them out of the sweatshirt. First, identify what the stain is, ask if it's washable or bleachable, and also check the care labels. And these are some stains and how you can remove them. Read manufacturer's directions and warnings always. You always should use safety precautions. First you should pre-soak and then next you should place over a flat area. Apply the stain remover to the underside of the shirt so it doesn't affect the part that is shown. Blot the excess moisture with just a paper towel or anything. Scrape and scrub whatever works best the stain to get it out and then you can wash and dry your item. You want to get the stain out as soon as possible. The longer it's in there, it's harder to get out. Treated correctly, it'll most likely be taken out completely. When spilled, absorb the excess liquid. Gently blot and don't rub. No pressure and don't iron on the stain unless you want it there forever. The book Fashion by Mary Wolf and that website. There are three different washing options. Hand washing, machine washing, and dry cleaning. For detergents, they are made synthetically from chemicals that suspend and hold dirt and grease away from clothes. There are two main types, the first one being high sensing detergents that are all purpose and the most popular, and they are mostly used in top loading washers. There's also low sensing detergents that contain sud control agents and are recommended for front loading sud sensitive washers. Other detergents include color water detergents and light duty dish detergent is great for hand washing. Soaps are made with mostly natural products. They come in two different forms, bar and granule. Soaps don't work well in hard water and soap is great for hand washing, but they shouldn't be used in the machine. Bleaches are either a chlorine type or an oxygen type. It's available in dry powder and in liquid. Liquid chlorine bleach whitens clothes and helps remove soils and stains. Oxygen bleach can be used with most fabrics and colors. It helps with keeping clothes looking their best. 
Liquid fabric softeners give so gives and softens fluffiness to washable fabrics. They have nothing to do with water softening and they prevent fibers from getting stiff and harsh. They also can control static clean. There are three different machine washing temperatures on most washers, cold, warm, and hot. The temperature will directly affect cleaning and wrinkling dur and the durability of clothes. Cold is good for dark colors that bleed and lightly soiled loads. They're, it's also good for delicate items. Warm is a mixture of hot and cold, and warm is what's best for most loads. Hot water is best for sanitizing, however it makes fabric quality fade and the color fade really fast. Machine washing procedures. First you want to put in water in the cleaning agents. You put this in first and the product should dissolve into the water before clothes are added. If detergent is added over clothes, clumps may stick to our clothes. Be sure to use proper water level, never wrap large items around the agitator. Don't overload the washer. Select proper washing cycle and after clothes finish the cycle, check to see if your washer had a lint filler. If so, make sure you clean it out. Hand washing. Any piece of clothing can be hand washed and it is recommended to hand wash wool. This is done in a sink or a bucket. All you have to do is add detergent, swish around the detergent, squeeze the suds through the clothing, let soak for 15 to 20 minutes, rinse them twice in cold water, wring out and hang. Dry cleaning is a nicer way of cleaning your clothes. Clothes with beads, sequins, or have softer fabric should be dry cleaned. Anything can be dry cleaned, especially delicate fabrics that cannot withstand the rough tumble of a machine washer. When you dry clean, you're paying a professional and everything costs its own place. Every place has their own prices. At CNR Cleaners and Grand Forks, you can dry clean a prom dress for $35, a tuxedo for $10.90, dress pants for $5.95, and dress for $2.20. All this information is found in the book Fashion and from CNR Cleaners. Drying options. Automatic dryer, line drying, flat drying. Clothes can be dried by tumble action in an automatic dryer, drip dried on a hanger, line dried, or flat laid. Machine drying products. Dryer sheets, dryer balls, dryer bar. Dryer sheets are used to help prevent static electricity. Dryer balls take the stiffness out of clothes, sheets, and towels naturally with no chemicals or toxins. Bars help with static control. They also freshen and soften the clothing items. Machine drying temps. Some of the temps are for the dryers are warm, hot, cool, cold, some delicate garments may need to be a cool temperature, gentle tumbling, and short drying time so you don't ruin them. Other machine drying settings. Regular cycle. Regular cycle is for items that are not heat sensitive. Uh, permanent press cycle. Permanent press cycle provides a cool down tumble time with no heat at the end to reduce wrinkles. Air fluff cycle provides tumbling in unheated air. Hang line drying techniques. When hanging your clothes, make sure to use a clean clothespin and before hanging, wipe the line down with a clean cloth. Clothes can take longer to dry inside and may become stiff due to the lack of limited air movement. This is more economical and can give clothes a fresh clean smell. Lay flat to dry techniques. Sweaters are often dried flat. This technique is good for wool, knit, and leather items. Lay garments away from direct heat on a clean absorbent surface such as a large towel. Ironing versus pressing. Pressing is picking up the iron up and down before placing it on the fabric. Use pressing when you are making something that isn't finished yet. Ironing is running the iron back and forth on top of the fabric. Use this for getting wrinkles out of something that is already made. Iron techniques. Iron with the grain of the fabric to prevent stretching garments out of the shape. Start with the multiple layer areas like collars and cuffs. When using aerosol sprays, shake the can before using. Spray lightly. Too much will lead to flaking and stickiness. Clean the spray opening of the aerosol can when you're finished. Ironing. If this is not done, the spray feature could be clogged 
and the next time you want to use it. Everyday clothing storage. Good storage will help your home look neat and will keep your apparel in its best condition. Storage areas should be provide adequate space for both hanging and folding clothes. Store items as close as possible to the place you put them on. For example, jackets by the door and jewelry by the mirror. Seasonal clothing storage. Seasonal clothing storage can help you save time looking for clothes to wear in the current season, mostly done in spring slash fall. Make sure the items are clean so they don't create permanent stains. Store the items in a clean, dry, cool, and dark place.